Hi everyone, um, just doing this video to update you on um, my IGBT brick driver uh, experimenting. I took apart that other driver that I'd made because it uh, it wasn't able to drive uh, drive the gate drive transformers at uh, 20 kilohertz um, with any stability at all. Um, and the idea of this board is that it has to be able to run at 20 kilohertz because uh, that's the maximum frequency that um, the bricks that uh, Alex has uh, can run at. Um, so I've done a bit of a uh, bit of research. Um, I found a document that had a lot of um, good information about uh, gate drive transformers, the uh, the properties of the core um, inductance values uh, relevant to frequency range that you plan to drive it at. Um, I'll link that down in the description. But basically, um, one of the problems was I didn't have um, the correct inductance on the primary core of the gate drive transformer I was using to drive the um, the little MOSFET full bridge um, full bridge configuration uh, which meant that at um, at 20 kilohertz um, the this transformer was uh, losing output stability and then the MOSFETs would then not be driven properly which meant that the next stage um, this larger one wouldn't be driven properly either. Um, so I found that this transformer, the way it is now, um, will run all right at uh, at the 20 kilohertz frequency range. Um, but what I've done here with this one is I uh, originally had the uh, using twisted pair and had both um, had the pair in parallel. Um, but I switched that over to series to get the inductance up to closer to 4 millihenry. Um, and as you can see, at 20 kilohertz, that's the output of the transformer. Um, it's outputting around 5 volts because it's only getting a 12 volt input. Um, and because these the outputs aren't series, um, it'll halve it. Just because transformer ratios. But... Um, before I wasn't seeing anything close to that output um, and this can go down to um, I'll just see I mean it's stable down to 16 volts and then I mean 16 kilohertz uh, is fine um, so yeah this should be a good runner I also found that um, Another problem was these little drivers, um, while they're, they're good, this is an MCP uh, it's a, a 1405, which is a uh, inverting, non-inverting uh, driver pair, I see. Um, they're rated to 4.5 four amps, but uh, once you start getting down to um, like the lower frequencies, um, if you're running with no dead time. Um, these things just can't handle it at all, and um, they heat up instantly. Uh, actually, I think I might have overheated one of them because um, one channel is um, is not working. Uh, the way I noticed that was that uh, you only get half the output voltage um, on your gate drive transformer, even if all your inputs are at full voltage. Um, because of the way these work, they'll still pulse the transformer um, even if one side is, is not working um, because you're still getting that uh, the pulse from like your input voltage to zero, but you're not getting the negative negative pulse, so it just halves it. Um, but yeah, I'll probably. Um, wire this up now. Um, I'll just go with these two 9 amp, 9 amp drivers which are just a pair of uh, inverting non-inverting um, drivers. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching.